everybody, it's Cassandra Charles. I'm back again with another one of our STEMS videos. Today I'm going to be talking about a member of one of my personal favorite genuses, the philodendron. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the philodendron tree, otherwise known as the philodendron split leaf. It's this big beautiful guy behind me. We have a couple in this little uh, setup here at one of our clients. They're such a they're such a beautiful plant. So they really have grown on me, no pun intended. Um, yeah, so they're known either to be a climber, so they'll either climb up the trees in their natural habitat, or they'll vine along the ground. They do produce a lot of those aerial roots. Please feel free to cut them. Uh, the plant it won't it won't hurt the plant. Some people like the look of them. Some people don't. They think it's a little too crazy. Um, so please, there's no harm in cutting them. Uh, they are native to Central South America, the very warm, humid, and tropical climates. Um, it is important to try to mimic that in your home or office or wherever you are trying to put it. So we suggest adding a little bit of moisture to their environment. That could be by a humidifier or even just like taking a damp cloth and cleaning the leaves off with that. Um, they are growing in popularity. Uh, they are starting to rival the bird of paradise, which is another plant that people put in their environments to give a really tropical feel. Um, but these guys are slowly starting to take over that notion or even being paired up. Um, yeah, they're such a beautiful plant. Uh, we actually were able to see one of them flower at another one of our massive setups that we have a few of them going. Uh, they can get out of control so it's important to have a large enough space for them to grow because they will, you know, it's a tree, like they will put this big long trunk out and then it will go like all the way up there. So please just be mindful of that, that you have the proper space. Um, they do like well-draining soil and they hate sitting in water. Uh, if you are overwatering them, you'll start to notice a yellow leaf or yellow leaves as they start to die off. And if you're underwatering them, you'll notice that they'll get little brown, crispy uh, tips. So overwatering, they get yellowy and mushy. Uh, underwatering, they'll get brown and crispy. Other than that, have a green, green day. And I hope you guys love this plant as much as I do or I have begun to. Um, yeah, and I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye.